What's happening people? Low here. <clears throat> Today I'm going to make the official review, my version, of the uh, Geyser Rebuildable Dripping Atomizer by Dark Running Mods International. <coughs> it has one, two, three, four, five, six parts all together. First is the base. I mean the deck there you can see the uh, positive poles which is one piece and the high peak insulator around it and these are the two negative poles that are CNC machined with a base it's not welded it's one well, it's one piece. The deck and the negative poles are just one piece. Okay, again, there's the uh, positive block with two poles. It is designed for quad coils, <coughs> dual coils, and Try coils as you can see on my previous videos I posted it is not for a single coil tight drag vape like my usual all day vape I can't use it for a single coil because the draw is still pretty loose and uh, everybody knows I'm not a full-time cloud chaser long pooler all right so that's that and this is the 510 base brass the airflow control as you can see it has nine air holes <coughs> high temperature peak insulator and the center pin so basically how it works there is three ribbed or lines on the 510 base which means the longest line or rib is for quad airflow the medium line or the middle line or rib is for the tri coil I mean tri air hole airflow and the shortest one is for dual airflow for dual coil and this how it works see that four air holes three air holes and two air holes so what it do I'm gonna put it all together so you can see when the dot is aligned to uh, each line or ribbed rib indent okay let's see Where's the there? So longest line on the dot is four air holes. I don't know if you can see that. The middle line is for tricoil. I don't know if you can see that as well, and so on and so forth. Double coil. Again, it's not for single coil. Just the drag is still pretty loose. 
while I'm putting this together be patient on the video because I'm going to be doing the build tutorial as well for my how I do my quad coil with a single wire okay so there it is By the way, shout out to uh, Michael Thompson from USAohmmeters.com for sending me uh, my favorite color, transparent pink ohm meter. So here we go on the building. You gotta be needing a long ass length of wire. This time I'm gonna be using 28 gauge Omega Tiger wires. And I already pre made the first coil. The first lead cut it short just so when you screw when you insert it on the uh, first pole, you don't have to cut the lead just exactly where the hole is okay the first negative or the right part of the lead because I build from left to right okay I insert the coil diagonally I mean the wire so it goes to the front hole and to the side onto the next coil okay the uh, screwdriver back and screw it in place screw the left pole first and second screw now we just a little bit of fixing There is our first coil, point fifty four, which is my all day vape. Let's fix it a little bit. On to the second coil.
lock it in place. There goes our second coil, which is 0.28. Now, dual coil. There, point twenty four. On to the next coil. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. screwdriver screw it in place There goes our third coil. Which is now point eighteen. Ooh. It's getting lower and lower. Okay, the last coil is gonna be pretty tricky because you gotta cut it just exactly. Just thing. That 
concludes our quad coil on the geyser. Total of that point fourteen ohms. Okay. Now a little bit of adjustments and then we're gonna wick this bad boy. fix it later. Let's wick it first so we can bake on it. Wait. I have to pause it. Okay, now time to wick it. Coil.
where she is. Not so pretty, but I'm gonna make the adjustment later. And let's put our juice divider. Saturate this bad boy. Let's roll, Let's set it on a quad airflow. Let's vape away. Oh boy. Whew. The flavor on this build, quad coil bra, <clears throat> unmatched. <clears throat> Look at that. I'm not even uh, trying to pull hard but yet we're getting a very good vapor production already <clears throat> There you have it, people. Geyser RDA by Dark Running Mods.
if you're wondering where to get one, I have my Facebook page and uh, the second batch of the uh, geyser is coming in today, October 21st. So uh, I'll put the description below of my Facebook uh, wall or timeline or page where you can avail a uh, geyser RDA below retail price. Alright? So hope guys you guys have some idea on how I uh, build the geyser and how the geyser works okay thank you for watching peace out